Well, thanks a lot for joining me this afternoon. First of all, how would you describe your film? Uh, I would describe my film as it's kind of just a an invitation to like be present with our surroundings and kind of the the miraculous nature of the of the world that is like of us and around us. There were a couple of like pretty intense lightning storms like over the summer that I was just like out in my cabin watching and then decided to try and capture a few of them. And just as something to like for the God a Minute Film Festival, something to share um, so that people just kind of passing by might catch a glimpse of like what I considered to be like a pretty beautiful and powerful event. Just having a space to kind of share, share that moment and reflect upon the other storms uh, in our world that are kind of coming our way that maybe we we should uh, pay attention more attention to so that's kind of fascinating because it sounds like there's a kernel of optimism that you're capturing the beauty of what nature can possibly possess and bring to the table periodically in in contrast we've heard um, in the news all about the wildfires and climate change and the inevitable effects of all of that it's easy to get wrapped up in all the kind of like doom and gloom and, and like, not that that shouldn't be taken seriously. I think it's important that we consider like what's coming our way and, and maybe think about living in a different way to kind of change the trajectory of like where we're going. But it's mm-hmm. also important not to lose, lose sight of the beauty that is in, like an inherent part of our life and the world that we live in. Like what is there beyond that? It's, it's important to have perspective, I guess. And that's, I think, a, a balanced approach of, of knowing the challenges that we face and also um, taking the time to take in the beauty. And so what, I, just out of curiosity, what can be accomplished in, 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 say, a minute versus an hour and a half, a typical film or two hours? What, what's unique about it? The way that Got a Minute Film Festival is, is really interesting is that it, it's, it's not kind of a destination that people are going to to sit and watch uh, like a longer piece. A lot of people are just interacting with this in the moments within their day, like, and they might not even see the beginning of it. They might just drop in for like ten seconds or like thirty seconds, and it's it's interesting to just be able to give people a moment like that rather than something that's like a longer form piece where you're you're telling. It's not it's not so much at least with my piece. It's not about telling like a specific narrative. It's more about just capturing kind of an, an essence to something or a moment that can be experienced while people are just moving through through their day. You point to the, something that's very unique about the God I'm in at Film Festival and that historically movies require four walls and of course a screen to work. Uh, this festival is a little akin to the street theater of Safdar Hashmi in that the movies unfurl in public spaces as you alluded to. Now, do you think about that when you're actually creating your work, your film? Yeah, like uh, that, that was my... My kind of goal was to make something that could could be experienced in passing, like the, like even with without someone stopping to to like like watch for more than a few moments, but just even as they're walking by to see this like this moment of this flashing lightning and this storm that was just uh, that might just just make them catch their eye for like for a few moments. It's more about bringing something to the people, like out in into public space, and and something that can kind of be experienced in like within the day to day of of people's lives. You suggest the movies will be screened for unsuspecting audiences in public <laughs> transit spaces and all over the place where people gather. Have you ever stood there at a LRT stop or whatever and <laughs> heard comments from viewers unaware that you're a participant in this festival? I've been kind of like in in the LRT where or or seeing them on other screens throughout the city, but it's it's not something that I've like. I usually just like watching people's reaction, seeing their something grab their attention. People are so in their in their own lives, and then suddenly there's just something. There's like oh, like they come out of the fog. <laughs> yeah, it's one moment of like, what is this? And that's I think that's the power of art is to like to create those kind of like like little moments and shifts in perspective where it's like something that just kind of just changes people's attention for a moment to even consider something else.
So we're going to see these incredible films screened as packages in public spaces. There are six packages, I believe, uh, all together. And your film, of course, is part of that whole thing. And then um, there are artist talks throughout the course of the Gata Minute Film Festival as well. One of them happens to take place September 16th in the Stanley A. Milner Library. My film was, it was one of the, there's a handful that were commissioned for the 10th anniversary. That's right. And uh, so it was, it was an honor to be like approached to, to make something specifically for the festival. Um, it's fun to work kind of within that format of like what you can communicate within one minute. When, it, when it's very finite like that, you really have to think about, okay, what am I trying to say? Like it's, and what am I trying to communicate and, and how best to communicate this? Well, thanks, Aaron, for taking the time to chat with us. I'm going to go out just by asking you whether um, I can play a request for you. One song that I haven't listened to for a long time, but I've been listening to lately, is uh, George Harrison's What is Life. That's a great... Thanks a lot, Aaron. Keep well. Sounds great. Good to see you. Take care of yourself. Take care. Bye-bye.